Hello. Hey, I'm making another video, third one, relatively short order. Um, but don't worry, this won't be about what happened last weekend with uh, President Trump or anything like that. Nothing really to do with that. Because um, there's tons and tons of that out there. Um, I just want to talk about basically like uh, in your car uh, to go kit or a truck gun or, or car gun or whatever. Um, I have stuff I use so I go to the range and it just kind of works out for me. I have a Helicon Tex chest rig, um, um, like a really basic gun belt and then, um, I usually get my uh, general purpose rifle with the, um, the prism scope and magnifier and that's kind of what I take to the range and I just did a video on that. I really enjoyed it. Um, so I was thinking about this and if you're like say going to town because things are extremely contentious right now and between now and inauguration day for we all kinds of weird bizarre shit to happen and um, th this is kind of like something I would think of that might be interesting so this is essentially my home defense or truck gun this is my 11 and a half inch uh, air pistol and I have a pulse and aims and a magnifier you know that kind of stuff sling um, you know all that stuff um, so this would be really good, like, um, if you're going to work, or say you're going to town to get groceries or something like that, or you're visiting someone in a free state, and, um, you hear unexpectedly on the radio, like, some bizarre shit just popped off, um, kind of like last weekend where you, no one expected to even hear that or anything, um, you know, what do you have on you? Maybe there's contentious areas with um, like Antifa or whoever, similar groups. And obviously the idea is to get out and get away, avoid conflict, of course. But sometimes, occasionally, you may not be able to. Um, this is kind of like a rig, I would recommend. Um, this is just, this is a cheap, cheap gun belt. It's core essentials, this ain't, or something like that. It, not the cool one, but... Um, Oh, Tacticon. Yeah, that's quite Chinese. Anyways, I want to get a core essentials. That's, that's what it was. But anyways, just, you know, something like this. Um, a whole couple pistol mags. A couple rifle mags. Um, these are my dry fire practice mags. Their springs are kind of shot, so I use them for dry fire practice. But something I've recently taken up to doing is put some camo tape on them. And that's uh, kind of like a guide where my fingers index. And because it feels different, you can feel the the plastic, right? And then you slide down, you feel the smooth tape, and it's just kind of like a, a, a physical reminder of where to grip. Um, dump pouch, dump pouch is really useful. You can put water in it, all the miscellaneous stuff, or uh, throw away your mags in here if you have presence of mind. Um, and then this pistol, just have a Glock 19 pistol with the uh, dry fire mag, and um, uh, like a was this uh, like a mid-drop uh, safari land holster. So you wear this, right? Say so you have a pistol, a couple mags, a couple rifle mags. And you got your rifle, right? So, you know, say with the mag here, say so you have three rifle mags. And uh, two mags for your pistol. And uh, if I want actually in pistols, about three. Okay, so three and three, not bad. But the way things are going in the world, especially here in the States, uh, things are pretty nuts, so I would also use my range rig. Just you know, kind of have it around. Obviously, take protective steps to uh, if you have tinted windows or, or put a blanket over stuff, so no one can just easily see your stuff in your car and break into it and steal your shit. That would suck. Uh, also, maybe you don't put on any stickers that like GOA or, or FPC or NRA or whatever. Um, you know, be, be low key. You're like, oh, you're a great man, huh? No, <laughs> uh, that's kind of like a, a cringy term, in my opinion. Just low key, subtle. Anyways, uh, this one's pretty cool too. So, it's my hell context is just hell context. I just take this to the range, and you know, it's got four or hold on here. It's got four pistol mags, two on each side. You can hold four rifle mags, and it's got a, a dongle 
that you can hook or unhook. And uh, it's got, I, I like the idea of a bright identifier, for, for especially just for the range. And um, the country and state. And also, um, say if you're like in some kind of like writing position or just where stuff pops up, you had no idea what to expect. Um, it, so you have, say, your three rifle mags, then you have four more on top, say, so have seven. And that would be one of the rifle, uh, two on the belt, and four here. And then you have space for more pistol mags. So, um, this isn't like a fight, this is like a direct action kit. This is a fight to leave kit, or a fight to get someone. Okay, I don't know. I'm just making up shit. Anyway, so I think this is great. It's very comfortable. Uh, the only complaint I ever had was I had to order this from T Rex Arms, this back strap, because it didn't come with it for some reason, which is odd. But um, not a big deal, not a deal breaker. It's like 20 extra bucks. Works great. Uh, really comfortable. And actually, if you wanted to expand your kit further, this is my gym bag. It's just a busted little backpack. Nothing special. You know. It's just a gym bag. I take change clothes and deodorant and all that crap. But if you suspect things might be getting tense, especially with the upcoming election or post election, uh, might be a good idea to throw stuff in here like uh, some bottles of water. Uh, I, I love cliff bars. I'm addicted to them. I eat like one every day. Uh, something like that. Uh, maybe um, a map of your area, a compass, um, extra battery, like a battery charge for your cell phone. You know, just real basic stuff. No, this isn't like bugging out or anything. This is just something you throw in your car. So you got your backpack, your belt, and something like a chest rig or whatever you have going on, and your rifle. And I, I think that's not a bad idea, actually, with things going on right now. And um, you, you can easily carry this in your car without taking up a lot of space, really. And you can break down your kit further. And I mean, of course, adjust to your own needs and what you think is best for your your kit and what you have in mind. But it's just something I was thinking about just a few minutes ago, and I was like, "Hey, that's not a bad, bad idea." Um, and that's uh, like a, I would call that a not a covert setup, right? Because that'd be like soft body armor. With a jacket or shirt or whatever, and like a level three armor and like a pistol or a PDW. That to me is more of like a covert setup. Uh, this is more of a um, just low vis or subtle or um, your your um, truck gun kit, something like that. Whatever you want to call it. Um, I, I thought it was kind of a neat idea, and uh, just to be situational, uh, especially with the idea of having an eleven and a half. I, I love the magnifier um, idea. And because um, you don't have to use it necessarily to you know range the target, but if you want to detach it, you can just scope out something ahead. Say if you get the um, I don't know, like I don't know, like a building or a dumpster or whatever, and, and there's like uh, burning cars or fences set up as a makeshift barricade. Like oh okay, that's down the road. Avoid that area, and hopefully you have like a map or something. Um, these are just ideas to get, especially with uh, things being really kind of unstable the way things are. Um, May not be such a bad idea. Um, anyways, that's it. I come a shorter video, and my video has been very long lately, so I apologize for that. I'm learning, and um, etc. Anyways, uh, have a good rest of the week. Bye.